Hi everybody, great to be with you again, especially as we get closer to this Christmas season. I don't know about you, I love this season, especially now with the grandkids around. It's just a great, great blessing to see the joy and the excitement in their eyes and in their hearts for all the good things that are happening. And we're really trying, I'm sure like your family is, is to stay focused. As we mentioned this last weekend of how to stay focused with the reality of Christ in us during the season. A few weeks back we started with Christ with us and now that's the last weekend he's actually in us and we described how he is in us by the presence of the Holy Spirit and I started thinking about an experience that I had that I want to share with you as a basis for some challenge for you to talk about during our, our your, your uh, small group time together. When I was first uh, uh, growing up, I had a great, great family, a moral family, a religious family, but as you know, I didn't come to faith in Christ until I was older. And one of the influences in my life, unbeknownst to me how important it was, is I was a, a teenager and I was walking down the street towards a, a, an athletic field where I was going to compete. And I looked down in the ground in front of me, and I saw this little card on the ground. And not knowing what it was, just being curious, I reached down as I was walking, and I picked it up. And it turned out to be a verse from the Bible. And little did I know, it was one of the most important verses in the whole Bible. And I, I didn't know the extent of it, but I thought of it this weekend during our time of sharing about God in us. It came out of, out of Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. It simply says that I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and delivered himself up for me. There's just so much wonderful theology in, in, in that little verse. And I had no idea what it meant. All I knew is that it was something important. And then later, after coming to faith in Christ, I began to learn a little, little bit more and more and more and more until now. I really recognize it as a power-packed verse that talks about how different we are because Christ is in us. I've been crucified with Christ, and it's no longer I who live. The old me is dead. At the moment of faith in Christ, I died united with Christ in his death, his burial, and his resurrection, the great theologies of the book of Romans, united with him, identified fully with him, so that the old me is dead. I've been crucified with Christ. No longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. His new life, the new life of Christ in me, changing me, working in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith and the, the, the journey of faith now, of trusting in Christ. Anyway, I thought about all of that and how Christ actually dwells in us. We talked this last weekend about the Holy Spirit's presence in us. That's why he's called the Spirit of Christ so very often within the Scriptures. The Lord Jesus Christ dwells in us by the presence of his Spirit in us. And therefore, because of that permanent indwelling, I want you to stop and think about this. We have a person that we can talk to all the time. He, he's not a force, remember. He's not a spiritual energy that makes our goosebumps come out on our skin. He's a person with personality. And therefore, we're never going to be alone. We have someone that we can talk to. We have a, 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 a power a power within us, obviously far greater than our own power, because he's God the Holy Spirit. And greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. And this is what gives us hope, because of his presence, because of his power, because of his personality. See, there's a reason why he, with his personality, comes into us, because it changes our personality. It begins to grow us and develop our character so that the very character of Christ gets reproduced within us because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. As he uses God's word and, and as we yield to his presence and are controlled by him, that's when things really get exciting. And God starts to change us and grow us and mature us because of his presence, because of his power, 
because of his personality. All of this happens the moment that we believe in Christ and that presence comes in and then the growth of sanctification begins to show itself in the daily changing and decision makings of our lives. Well, I want you to take some time to talk about the changes that God being in you has wrought. What's the biggest changes that you've seen? What are some of the areas that you still need to work on? We highlighted a number of the, the good things that happened because God is in us. Do you have any others? You have a whole bunch of questions for you to interact about, and I hope that you have a wonderful time. Again, remember our values that we champion here at Emmanuel Faith that have grow and connect and share, and I'm thrilled that you're connecting together. So use this time, and, and uh, I do pray God's richest blessings on you. So thanks for letting me share.